Today I want to talk about one of my favorite technologies ever, and the one that I used every single day at my 9 to 5, and the one that I would credit really more than any other with where I am today as a backend engineer and as just a developer in general. Prisma is a TypeScript ORM, and I absolutely love it. But over time, Prisma has developed a lot of problems, and as the sort of architecture of our front ends and these meta frameworks like Next.js and SvelteKit have really rose to dominate the industry, Prisma has had a lot of problems. It's Originally, it had this giant Rust binary, and it had tons and tons and tons of problems in serverless environments. This was a very common problem that people were having. The cold starts were just awful. There were times when Prisma would boot up, and it'd take like three or four seconds just to do a hello world. It was rough. But over time, they've been making huge improvements. And even though those improvements were being made, I admittedly have been moving away from it. I've been using Drizzle a lot more. I love Drizzle, and I'm still using it in tons of stuff, and I think it's amazing. The way that it's so close to SQL is awesome. The way that it's so lightweight is awesome. And one of the biggest things is that it can run natively on the edge. And that's something that I didn't really expect from Prisma, and I think that was one of its biggest downsides until now. This article got me very, very excited because of what it signals for the future of Prisma and for what it signals for, in my opinion, the future of the web. Database access on the edge with Next.js, Vercel, Prisma, and Data Proxy. This is not, in my opinion, the final solution. I think that ultimately the Prisma Data Proxy, while really cool and an awesome solution for scaling a normal static database, like a Supabase database, a um, railway database, whatever, any of these databases which can only have like 25 concurrent connections, this is an awesome way to scale them up. But ultimately, I think that databases like Planet Scale are really the future where they can just natively take infinite connections over HTTP. They've already solved the edge problem. But clearly, Prisma is looking towards it, and there is a lot of really exciting stuff here. They go through this full example. I'm not going to go through it here. If you want to read the article, I'll link it down below. But the biggest and most important thing that I got out of it, Prisma client slash edge. This is huge. This means that Prisma is looking forward towards the edge and all this stuff. And I was really excited for this, and I posted on Twitter like, hey, I'm going to go try this out. And then one of the guys from the Prisma core team actually messaged back with this. He said, hey Ben, native Prisma ORM on the edge will land towards the end of the year slash early next year. We are excited for this. And so am I. That is huge. I absolutely love the developer experience of Prisma. If you just look at the way you do CRUD operations here, it's just so intuitive and easy. While there is an argument to be made that Drizzle's sort of way of doing things where if you look at their SQL queries CRUD, if we look over here at their like select, this is much, much, much closer to actual SQL. We're actually writing select statements, we're picking the fields, we're going from users. This really feels like TypeScript SQL versus this is abstracted further away. But I found that this is extremely intuitive, and when you're working with really complex data structures and really complex tables, this can be invaluable. I've had projects where we have to do like five level nested deep reads and all this stuff, and having to manage all of that, the recursive structure of Prisma's query syntax is bar none one of the best I've ever used. I absolutely love working with it. But like I said, I've moved away from this because a lot of the architectures I've been moving towards are more edge-based and they're basically all serverless. And Drizzle does really, really well at the edge and it does really, really well in serverless because it's so lightweight. But clearly Prisma is moving in this direction. And that's really the whole point of this video is that Prisma's future is very bright. Don't count this out just because it's not the current hype. I think that there is a very bright future here and I am very excited to see what they do next. I'll probably go ahead and do... I don't know, maybe do like a Prisma video or something in the future where we do a deeper dive into all this stuff. But for today, I just wanted to point this out and, you know, don't sleep on Prisma. There's a lot of really exciting stuff there. And I think that the dev experience, especially within their uh, CRUD operations and their schema, is bar none the best I've ever used. In my opinion, serverless, edge, these JavaScript meta frameworks, all this different stuff is going to become table stakes in the future for web development. I am thrilled to see Prisma moving this in this direction and I'm gonna be making a ton more content covering all this stuff. If you wanna see more of that, make sure to subscribe. I've got a Discord with a link down below. Make sure you guys join up there. And the SvelteKit Supabase deep dive is coming very, very soon. I'm currently just struggling with trying to 
distill and explain the pages versus layout versus universal loader versus server loader versus all this stuff, really trying to figure out how to explain and condense all that is hard. It's very, very tricky, and I really want to get that one right. I think that is, I think Svelte is on the up and up, and I think that there's a bright future there, so I want to make sure that one's correct, but it'll be there very soon. So hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you very soon.